Welcome guys back to another YouTube video. So today we're going to be talking about Image. It's a cool Google's photo alternative that you can use to run your photo library or videos on a Google Photos platform. This includes apps integrated with iOS and Android. And it's a really neat user interface. Um, so first we want to go to, this is just to show you what it's about. There's demo image app. That's the uh, login. And the password is demo. This is for their demo. Once you're in, you can see all the pictures are here, and you can go into sharing and share with local friends or family. Uh, all you have to do is go into the administrative tab and create a user, and you add the user, and that's about it. And then when you go into the photos directory, just for a quick little side-by-side, -side, if you go back and you go to photos, let's say I want to add an album, so I'll just take these and add an album. You can share albums. Let me make sure we go albums. Create an album. Select some photos. And then you just name the album, pictures, I don't know. It's really simple then from there. Go into pictures, click on share, and you share it. This is a really cool app. I absolutely adore this app, especially since it's got integrated iOS and Android functionality. So stay along for the ride. We'll get this started and show you how to install it on Windows. Thank you so much, and we'll come back in a second. Okay, everyone, let's get started. So first, we're going to go into the GitHub, which I'll list in the description. We're going to go and set up the install. So we'll go to Documentation. Installation and we're gonna not use the one step install, we're gonna do the wget. But if we're on Windows, we don't need to do this. We can just uh, we can just copy the docker compose because on Windows it's a bit different, you can't really wget it. So we're just gonna click copy that, paste it in here. Okay, so once we have done that, we're gonna go into the this link and load it up. Okay, we're gonna click on control or we're gonna just gonna right click, you can click control s. I'm going to right click because if I do that, it's going to stop my stream. Dot, and we're going to name it .emv. Okay. I don't need to save it because I've already done that. Actually, we'll save it again just for kicks and giggles. Okay. Once that's done, we're going to need to edit two things on this EMV. One being that um, we're going to open the EMV in a text editor. So I, I've already opened mine up. Uh, we're going to reload this. We're going to need two things. We're going to need, if you're going to serve it through Caddy or something else, you're going to need to uh, copy this. I'll put it in the description. And paste it into the bottom level, which is going to be uh, web web options. We paste right below public login. They all need this if you're gonna, you know, if you want to access from a local port or use Caddy to reverse proxy, you're gonna need this. If you don't have this, it won't load the local port on the web UI. And I found that out the hard way when I was trying to load it multiple times. Uh, we can next change this if you want to put a message. So welcome to our to our family memories. If you want to do that. That is a message I'll display on the home screen, as you'll see in a second when I load it up. Next thing you need to change is the JWT secret. You can do this either with a really strong password you come up with, or you can run this command and get your own open SSL, RAND, base 64, and 28, which will give you a secure password as well. Last thing you need to edit is the directory where your folder is going to be put. So you can do a remote drive or any drive on your local data. All you have to do is the drive name and a forward slash because we don't do backslashes. Because on Windows, it defaults, like you can see, the backslashes. We don't do that because we're trying to make it natively with Linux. Because this was developed for Linux. So you do a forward slash. Now, I'm just going to select a different drive. I'm going to do a C drive. Uh, users. I'm just going to go to my actual um, photos directory. Let's see. Pictures. This one. All right, we'll copy this. This is, we're just going to use this as an example. You can obviously use any drive you want as long as it contains a forward slash. You should be just fine. I think that's a one drive. We don't want that. Our logos. Yeah, we'll do logos. Oh, the D4 forward slash one drive. Forward slash. Let's see this real quick. Oh, 
Oh, those will do Demon Warrior. Here we go. We'll go to Desktop Wallpapers. And we'll go to Gaming. And we'll copy this so we have Desktop Space. I'm going to fix that. Cause it, so if you have any spaces, it's good to fix it because Linux normally doesn't see spaces. Uh, and you'd have to do a forward slash to show it off. So I'm just going to do a dash. And I'll come back when I'm done. Okay. So once you have a director in here, um, you can use, this is where all your uploads are going to go. So let's say like, I want to make mine J, uh, you know, forward slash Google photos, right? That would be my Google photos. I would mean anyone that uploads a photo to my database, whether it's from my mobile, web, whatever, it'll upload straight to this directory. So this is just like for wallpaper, just for, you know, temporary purposes. But anything you upload will go to this directory specifically when you use the web UI. Okay, now that Docker Compose is up, I didn't have Docker running. Do Docker, we can just do the same command, Docker Compose ups dash D. There we go, now it's building our repository. And it's pulling the, all the images and the containers. Let that run for a hot second. Okay, now that it's started, we can go into our Docker and we can check it out. So if we go to our, uh, either your IP, which mine is 129.168.1. I think it's 98. Or you can just type in 127.0.0.1 colon 2283. There's our image. We click get started. We're going to go to our Amnimo, which you can make in anything. I'm just going to make it mine. I'm going to blank this out or blur this out so you guys can't see it for security purposes. Um, I have a password. I'll make it real quick. We'll put my name, Demon Warrior. That's the name Tech. Okay. And then we're going to go into email. We type in our email we just put in. Again, I'll blur this out again so it can't for security purposes. Type in our password again. And there we go. Now we have successfully logged in. We can do everything we want to do. One thing I'm going to start doing is I'm going to show you how to use the CLI tool. So one thing I didn't know about before was that you can use CLI to upload more than 60 photos. If I want to upload maybe two or three photos, I can do that. So let's upload like, I don't know, a photo in a different directory. So as you remember, our directory was pictures, and then it's um, logos, desktop wallpapers, and gaming, that's where this photo is going to get uploaded to. So here are all the photos. I'm going to pick a different wallpaper. So I'm going to pick, let's just pick on um, Demon Warrior logos. No, nope, there's no logo in there. Let's try IT Techno logos. Here we go. So we're going to take this one. We're going to upload it. And it uploads pretty quickly. Okay. Now that's done. We just refresh it. So we'll click F5. There's the logo. Now if we check in our albums, we should see that logo in there. There's the logo right there. So this is pretty easy to do, but let's say we want to upload more than 60 photos. So then we're going to use the CLI tool. So let me get that pulled up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we need two things. We're going to need MPM or Node, and we're going to need um, this, uh, and we're going to need um, this GitHub. So let's first uh, git pull the GitHub. So let me get that one second. We're going to git clone the repository, so you'll need git, obviously, to do that. So we'll go into here, and we'll git pull. We'll type in git clone. Okay. It's cloning that. Okay, now that I clone that, now we need to get node. So we're going to go into Windows Installer, and we're going to download it to our downloads. Once that's done, we can open it up and run node. All right, now that that's right, we click Next. Click Accept Terms. Next, next, next. We can just default all these. All right. Now that it's installing, we can wait for it to finish. 
All right, now that that's done, you can go into the image app. I'm going to do these three commands, or two commands. You click npm install. So we're going to go into here. I'm going to go into, um, let's see, where is it? Our command prompt. We're going to do cd cli, because that's where, oh, hold on. I'm sorry, cd image, all lowercase, cli to go to that directory. We're going to do npm install, which is going to install it. Oh, hold on. Okay, so once you have that installed node, you need to right click and you need to close or you need to close out the PowerShell and you need to go back to that directory because it won't update unless you close out on the PowerShell first to update that environment path that is added. So we we'll go to CDC tools and then we're gonna do image and then we're gonna do CD all lowercase image dash CLI. And we're gonna try this again, npm install. And there we go. Now it's running, we'll let that run for a second. All right, now we're gonna do the next command, which is npm build, which is right here. I'm sorry, npm run build. These will all be in the description too, all the links and stuff. All right, now we're gonna run the command, which is gonna be this one, which is gonna be the run command. So this is the run command. And the way you're gonna to wanna to set this up is, I usually set up in a text editor, just because it's easier to, um, to set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. We're going to do our email, which is uh, our use our email we signed up with. And I'll blank this out for us so you know that's not what we use. Okay, and then our password, which again I'm going to blank out again. Okay, and then we're going to use our domain, which is one one one. That's my uh, local host. And then our target directory, where we want to upload the files from. So let's say I want to upload from a different folder. So I want to upload from, let's say I want to upload a video. So let me see. Then we're going to upload intros. There's lag. Actually, we'll do pictures because I have more of those to go around. We'll do um, Demon Warrior logos. And we'll upload all these four Demon Warrior logos. So we're going to click on this, right click it. Click paste, and then we're going to do the same thing before. We're going to do the forward slashes, and we want to make sure we have no spaces. So let me make that clear. Just going to remove the spaces in here for us so we have it. Okay. Because again, Linux doesn't like spaces. You could just use a forward slash, but I just find it's easier to do this way. All right, we're going to make all these forward slashes instead of backslashes because, again, we're converting our Windows into a Linux kind of system, so you always have to make sure they're forward slashes or else it will not work. All right, now that's done. We just have to copy and paste it all and paste it into our command prompt. So we're going to type this. And, shit, and there we go. It uploaded four assets. So that was pretty quick. We're just going to start the upload now. We click Yes. Okay, and it failed to upload zero files, meaning it uploaded all four files, 404. So now if we go into image, we can view in our photos, if we refresh it, that it should be in here. Let's see. Should be is a big question. <laughs> But it did say it uploaded it. So that's the good part. So another thing you can do in here is let's say I want to add another user. So I want to click on administrative, create a user, and we're going to add, I don't know, another email like movies for you dot stream. I know we'll do a uh, IT tech not at. Uh, okay. I'm going to blow this out too so you guys can't see it because, again, for security purposes. All right, and we're gonna make another password. We're gonna name my name, which is we'll just say D. Uh, we'll say it admin. Okay, create. Okay, now that we've done that, we can go into our uh, back to our home page. We can select on this. Um, select on our. Let me do this last time. Click on administrative. We're gonna make sure we add our users to the directory. So let's say we have a. Um, Say we have a, a share and we're, we're going to make an album, right? 
So we'll click on create an album, and we're going to make this uh, logos. Okay. Select some photos. We'll select this one. Done. And this is just for kicks and giggles. You click on this to add more. So let's say I want to add a couple more. Select from my computer. Add all these. Okay. And then once you do that, we can click on who we want to see that. So all we have to do from there is just click on um, this one. Click on this. And I should be able to add it. Hold on. Oh, no. Go into sharing. We want to make sure we're sharing with the right person. So if we create an album to share. In this uh, logos. Okay. Select photos. This way we're going to share with everyone. Done. Okay. Now in sharing, there should be a share directory. Or not. Okay, I apologize. So what you want to do is you want to go into this and click on share. And then I can add my other person I want to invite to the album. And now whenever they load up the web page and log in with their user account, they can see the album. See, and there it is. There's the album. It's as simple as that. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, or want to give me any info on anything you want to see in the future, let me know. I think this is the best Google Photos alternative, including with really good FFmpeg encoding and decoding and um, HWA, or hardware acceleration. Uh, it can be used for all your logos, all your photos. This is a great way to back up, especially if you want to get off the Google Photos or Google Cloud bandwagon. This is the best opportunity to do so on Android, Mac, iOS, and on Windows. If you guys have any questions, concerns, leave your comments, rate, subscribe, and like. Thanks, guys.